Welcome to Smart Culture. Hey, don't forget. Hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. In this video, we'll learn how to go about measuring angles. We have a special instrument for measuring angles. It is called a protractor. Look at the picture of a typical protractor below. On the right, you'll see the degree marks. In the middle, you'll see the origin. Here is the baseline. This is the anti-clockwise degree scale. And then here is the clockwise degree scale. Protractors can be big or small, but they all measure angles in exactly the same way. The size of the protractor makes no difference to an angle size. Let's take a look at this example question. Use a protractor to measure the angle at B. So the first step will be to find the vertex of the angle. This is the point at B where the two arms meet. Carefully place the protractor so that its center, the origin, is positioned on the vertex B of the horizontal line segment BC. Remember the baseline of the protractor must lie on line segment BC. As ABC is an acute angle, it must measure less than 90 degrees. Remember to measure lines in the direction of the arrow. In this case, measure counterclockwise from BC up to BA. Positive angles are measured counterclockwise and negative angles are measured clockwise. Where the arm BA cuts the scale on the ruler grid of the protractor, read the number of degrees on the inner scale. So in this case, we're working with the inner scale you'll see that this angle is equal to 30 degrees. And this is then how you can go about measuring an angle using a protractor. For online tutoring or additional resources, visit our website, www.smartcultureeducation.com. Don't forget to subscribe.